Welcome to Devotions for Thursday, September 3rd, 2020. As I record this, it is a bright and beautiful day. I'm sorry to be squinting into the sun, but I'm glad to be out here and glad to be able to share. Uh, as you can see, I'm outside of church at Gethsemane. Not sure how much more you can see over this way, but these gardens are kind of ever-changing. There's daffodils in the spring, a pretty tree, the sedum, and other plants that are growing here that I get to enjoy as I go in and out whenever I come here. Let's go ahead and begin with prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O Lord God, enliven and preserve your church with your perpetual mercy. Without you, your help, we mortals will fail. Remove far from everything, from us, everything that is harmful and lead us toward all that gives life and salvation. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The reading for this coming Sunday, actually Saturday and Sunday, just a reminder, if, you're, if you'd like to join us, we will have worship on Saturday at 5 p.m. September 5th, and of course Sunday morning at 9.15, and then the recording of the Sunday morning service will be available later that day on Sunday. But today's reading is from Matthew chapter 18, verses 15 to 20, and it is the gospel reading for this Saturday and Sunday. And this is what it says. This is Jesus speaking to the disciples. If another member of the church sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the member listens to you, you have regained that one. But if you are not listened to, take one or two others along with you so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the member refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let it be, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, truly, I tell you, if two of you agree on anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So, uh, my sermon this Sunday, uh, God willing and the Holy Spirit leading me as, it, as already I have been led so far, uh, will be more about the first verses of that, the first what, five or six verses, about um, this thing about actually forgiveness, talking with people that you have a conflict with, working things out in a loving and gracious way. Um, but what about those last couple of verses? Two of you agree on something, you will have it in my name, and where two or three are gathered together, I am there in the midst of you, I am there with you. That is a promise and an assurance from God uh, that he's always with us and that gathering together is important. So yes, two or three is enough, but when we gather together for worship, when we can be together in person for worship, when it's safe and healthy for you and for everyone, we gather together. It is important as a people of God to gather together uh, somewhere with other people whenever we can in worship. Um, as I said, we're very limited right now with the coronavirus. Some are not able to get out as well as others, and I understand that. But I would say if you're able to get out and you're able to be around other people, then it's important to do that and to be in connection. Even if you can't physically be with other people, it's important to be in connection with other people, especially other Christian people, because that is quite often where God speaks to us, in and through other people. It's one of the many ways that God talks to us. We want to be thinking about the ways that God is speaking to us and the way that we can stop and listen, right? So, um... I'm going to continue now with our open prayers. We bring our prayers before you, dear Lord, and we thank you for... We pray for our concerns for this world and for our nation. We pray for the concerns of the communities in which we live. We lift our faith communities up to you in prayer.
We pray for friends and families, for those dealing with difficulty and those celebrating with joy. We especially pray for Kathy, Archie, Judy and Tom, Samaye, Sena, Judy H, Carolyn, Sue, Tim, John, Lynn, Roy, Caroline, the family of David Dawkins and the family of Lit. We pray for the ministries of Laundry and More and Come to Go Ministry in Fort Wayne. Bless us this day and help us in the following ways. And as you've taught us, Jesus, we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Christ is with you. Thanks be to God. Just want to mention, um, tomorrow I will not have regular devotions, but I do have a video for you to watch. So please take a couple minutes and take a look at that. And then, like I said, look forward to seeing you, hopefully in person, either Saturday night or Sunday morning, September 5th or 6th. And if not, then I hope you can watch our video that will be available uh, later on on Sunday. Take care and God bless.